Hey everyone, it's Patty from PS Paper Crafts and I'm here to show you another card. Um, this is the card I made um, for my swaps for the on stage in Atlanta. Um, I did make them this way with only three lemons because I made 51 of them and I thought, oh my goodness, five lemons times 50 cards, just too much. So I decided to cut it down to three lemons. So this was my first card. And then the card I'm going to make will be this way with only three lemons. But anyway, I used this basket weave um, embossing folder. And I'm hoping you can see it. It really looks beautiful. And it's thanks a bunch. So a bunch of um, lemons. And I used um, this linen thread on this one. I'm going to use uh, something different on the next one. So it'll be a little bit different. I like to shake it up a little bit. But anyway, I went to On Stage in Atlanta. That's the Stampin' Up! convention. And um, it was a local one. So they had them in different cities all around the world. So there were 600 of us uh, paper crafters in um, Atlanta. It was so much fun. We got to see the new catalog. And I will just show you, I'm only allowed to show you the cover, but here it is. Um, so it looks really great. They did a color revamp. There'll be a lot of information coming out. There's new stamp pad cases, lots of new products. Um, it's very exciting and we got to play with some of the stuff and take home some of the stuff. And if you're a de demonstrator, you can pre-order. So it's pretty cool. But anyway, let's get to the cards. So um, I use this lemon zest um, set and it's a bundle with the um, punch. So you can punch out the lemon and the leaves. And I've done a lot of that. And then I use this um, basket weave embossing folder. And the paper that I used was the wood texture. So you could see I have all the leftover strips of the basket because I, I didn't I didn't cut it to size. Um, I wanted to make sure I had enough once um, you emboss it, it shrinks a little bit. So I cut it a little bit bigger and I have some extra, but I'll do something with that. So let me just pull in what I have. So I have two of the three lemons and I have some of the leaves. Um, I have my strip here and the thanks a bunch. I cut the thanks a bunch. I use this um, beautiful bouquet. This is one of my go-to for uh, sentiments. You've seen me use this before. So I like the thanks a bunch. And then I used the lots of labels. Um, I think it was this one. Yeah, to cut it out. So I already did that part of it. Um, I am going to put these aside and I'll do my um, embossing with the big shot with that embossing folder. So let me just get these all up and I'll just use this piece. So every one of my baskets, well, not everyone, but there's a, a different colors. So I, you know, you can use either side of the wood and there's a lot of different, you know, the package comes with so many different wood grains. Um, it really made some nice baskets. I mean, you'll see that there's all these different colors. These are the back sides. So everybody's card was a little bit different. Some of them I did with the linen thread. Um, some of them I did it with the thick burlap. And then today I'm actually going to use this um, this ribbon, which is called, what is it called? Venetian Crochet Ribbon. So I thought this was pretty. This reminds me of the longer burger baskets when you have that inside material um, that hangs over the basket. So I have a basket with this kind of um, material. So let me get my big shot. I have it right here. And this is one of those um, deep, uh, what is it called? Dynamic textured embossing. So you only need one plate with this. So I'm going to just put this in and the side that says Sizzix and Stampin' Up, that's the part that's gonna be embossed. So I'm just gonna put it in here. And with this, you have to, I have the old fashioned with the one tab, put the, embossing folder down with the plate on top of it and just run it through. So let me just run this through and I'm going to run it back. And then I'm just going to trim it down so that it, um, it fits the card. Again, there's a little bit of shrinkage because um, the embossing just kind of shrinks it down a little bit. So if you were to cut this um, with the width of the card, it would be too short. So I'm just going to kind of lay it here and just cut it with scissors. 
I don't want to put it down yet because I'm going to add the ribbon to it in that piece of early espresso. So I am just going to eyeball it, cut it, and you could do that with a paper trimmer, whatever you want. So I've got that. I'm going to kind of lay it down with this and figure out where I want to put my lemons. And actually, let me just do a couple more lemons. I only have two of them. I wanted to show you that step. So I have my lemon and I have the uh, Daffodil Delight. So I'm going to, and when you do your punch, you're going to see that the punch, when you feed it in, I have this kind of fatter side up and the skinnier side down. So that's why I want to stamp it. And the same thing with the leaves. You kind of want to see how you're going to stamp it, how you're going to punch it so that you can punch it out easily without wasting too much paper. So when I did these, I did a whole ton of them. And I just kind of went down the row this way and I was able to punch them easily um, by feeding it in this way. So you just kind of want to, I kind of push it down before I punch it and grab it and make sure it's all lined up. Punch it out. So I used, you know, a little bit extra paper, but not a whole bunch. If I had more over here, I would have punched out more leaves. And then, let's see, I did one of the leaves in um, pear pizzazz. Let me just do that one. And again, I... I was trying to be smart about where I stamped it so that when I punch out the leaf, it fits in here and I'm not wasting too much paper. So I think I had like a strip of these. Punch that one out. And then it's probably a way to figure out how to line it all up, but I thought that would make take more time than it was worth. And then the other leaf I did in garden green so I'm going to just stamp that. Oh, and let's see. Maybe it's not going to fit here. I will stamp it here. I think I might have run out of room on that other one. So we'll close that up and punch this out, and then we can put the card together. So see, I'm going to have trouble with this, so I'm just going to just snip it and try to fit it in this way. And there we go. And punch it. Okay, so I have all the leaves I need. I have everything punched out. So now I'll do this. What I wanted to do was lay out this, put a couple of the lemons in to where I want them because I want to put them down before I attach this. Um, and I want to make sure I have enough room for the leaves and everything else. So now I'm just going to pick this up and I'll attach each one of these. Oh, I don't have my, oh, I do have. Let me use my regular adhesive instead of the fast fuse. So I'm going to put one down. I'll use the fast fuse on the, um, the basket itself because that's got those bumps, the nooks and crannies that I try to keep down. And I'm, I'm leaving some room at the top so I can put the leaves underneath the lemons. So I'll do those two, and then I'll do this one. So, and I put the fat side up on these, and then in the middle one I'm doing the skinny side up. So I have my lemons, and then I'll just put the leaves on, and I kind of put two of them together and only a little bit of this adhesive. So I kind of just laid them together and then stuck them under here. And I'll do two more, same thing. And I probably should have my silicone mat here to keep some of this um, stickiness off my paper, but that's okay. And we'll do these like this. I just want to make room for my thanks a bunch up, bunch up there. And then this one, we'll just do the same thing. And you really don't need a lot of adhesive here. Um, and this one will kind of come out this side here. All right, 
Now, maybe put this a little lower. I think I put too much adhesive there. I'm going to just cut it. I don't want it that high. Put a little more adhesive. And there we go. Okay, let me put a little adhesive here. I'm making a mess out of it, I guess. Okay, that is good. And then we're going to put my ribbon down. So I have this, and this one I'm going to put down with the um, fast fuse just to make sure it sticks good. And I'm just going to go right along the top and just put this across it and get this down kind of make it straight as possible and then I'm going to put it back here and cut this off So that I have it across the back so I wanted it to be really secure across here and then I'm going to put some on here Damn it. for some reason I just really have a hard time starting my adhesives that should work okay and with this fast fuse you just want to go to the end and just break it off okay so I'm going to put it right above from end to end so that that whole thing is showing. So that looks good. And now I'm going to put more of this on just to make sure with this embossed, the bumpiness, I just want to make sure that it adheres good. And we'll put this across our lemons. Perfect. And then we just need to add the thanks a bunch. And I put this on with a couple of dimensionals. Oh, I've got some stickiness around. So let me get my dimensionals and then we're done with the card. And I thought, you know, this is really cute. Um, I think that the ladies who receive these as the swaps, I mean, I got 50, 50 cards back. It was pretty cool. Um, everybody has a different different idea on how to use stamps and stuff so it's nice to see what everybody else works on so here's the kind of horizontal one and here's the vertical one with the uh, the linen and then with this um, pretty ribbon so let me know which one you like better and uh, thanks for joining me today you have a good day bye